Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of drawing this artwork. And I'd be 100% honest with you, I don't know what I'm doing. There might be a better way, but I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of play with this still. So if you've watched enough videos, if you watched the first one, we got to this part. So I drew a shape from the same way I did in the first part, except for I made it fatter, and I'm gonna get my I put it in the center. I'm going to start moving it when I'm done the control button. And I'm going to put it right in the center of the page. And you can see it matches up pretty much with the width. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of it. Double click on it. Move my rotation to the center. Rotate it 22 and a half degrees. And you could do this 22 and a half degrees. Or you could eliminate some of these and do them 45s. Now... We can grab our shape and just nudge it out of the way. Because we're not going to use this shape, but before we do anything, we're going to make a boundary of that shape. Whoop. An outline and nudge it out of the way. We might need it later. I'm going to, don't ever move anything, nudge things around. Because we're going to need those, that star back exactly where it was. Take our Smart Fill tool and fill that in just one time. Go left click, right click, and then we're going to go to Contour. Contour is under Effect. We're going to contour the inside point one two five and hit Apply. We're going to put a range. We're going to break contour apart. I'm going to grab the contour. I'm going to nudge it back over. And you can see what I did done here. I made an outline of that shape. Control D and make a duplicate of that shape. Double click, put it to the center. Rotate it 22 and a half degrees. And you see what I'm doing? I'm making a border. And a lot of people are adding colors. Some people are just using wood. So we're going to do the same thing to these other two shapes. But I want this shape. And one thing I didn't do, I didn't, I didn't uh, group my inner shape, but this is what's so nice about Corel. I'm going to take my pick tool and I'm going to hold down the alt button and I'm going to s collect everything in the center. I'm going to group these together. Control G. Now I'm going to move them out of the way. I'm going to bring my, I'm going to group this this time. Control G. I'm going to move it back. I nudged it. Now we're going to do the other parts. Same thing. Move it over. Left click, right click. Go to contour, contour to the inside, 1.25. Go to range, break contour apart. Grab our contour and nudge it back. And now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Move my rotation to the center. Rotate it 22 and a half degrees all the way around. Now the other interior part of the star is from our first star. Now because I have my outer star group, I can move it out of the way. I'm going to get rid of this contour so I won't mess up. Now here's why I made this border. I'm going to control D and I'm going to make a duplicate. I'm going to move it over. There's one layer of our wood. Control G and group it. Here's another one. And because I didn't move it, control D in case we need it again. There is a total different layer of wood. And it will cut out and you can lay other woods beneath it. And there's a lot to be done with this. And then when you brought it all together, you can take your star. This time I can just hit P. And this is going to look a little confusing. But we're going to nudge this back over. So there are some new layers in your of different kinds of wood. Now, I'm going to keep going on this project. Um, I've been real busy the last couple of days, but stay tuned for further parts and we'll go over how 
these would right now we're at three layers and we would just have to figure some things out but anyway i hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching